And the weather definitely brightening as the starter prepares to call him in. That's it, under orders, and they're away, and the 27 runners with eight flights to jump approaching the first flight now with Humberside Lady and Brimstone Lady, two of the first to show. As they jump it, Humberside Lady lands in the lead from Brimstone Lady. Right up with them is first bout over on the far side, spot him with his white face, Hieronymus, towards the left of the picture. And it's first bout over on the far side, Brimstone Lady, Pagan Sun right up there with them, and on the near side, it's Hieronymus. Hieronymus, Brimstone Lady in the center. Hieronymus gonna jump this in the lead. Hieronymus jumps it from Brimstone Lady, Pagan Sun over on the far side, with against the grain right up there and winging a prayer. First bout just in behind them, try to stop me with him and racing uh, uphill here. It's Hieronymus disputing it with Pagan Sun. Brimstone Lady is third, then comes against the grain. Behind against the grain is Pucker Major. Just behind uh, Pucker Major is first bout, then try to stop me. Then Irish Harvest, Pagan Sun. Now is taking it up. Pagan Sun gone on from Hieronymus, Brimstone Lady. Over the third, Pucker Major next, and Hieronymus jumped right out to the right there and lost a great deal of ground. Pagan Sun towards the right of the picture, right up against the rail, with Brimstone Lady right upside her as they come down to the next, against the grain, first bout over on the far side, right up with them. So as they go to the fifth, Pagan Sun on the inside, Brimstone Lady in the center, first bout on the outside, try to stop me is next with Wing and a Prayer on the inside, Whiskey Eyes is quite close to the lead, and the back marker at the moment is Big E with Woodway also uh, in rear. And as they race towards the third last flight, it's Pagan Sun and Brimstone Lady disputing it ahead of first bout. Behind first bout is Pucker Major, then comes Wing and a Prayer. Over the third last, three from home, Brimstone Lady, and first bout on the outside, Pagan Sun. Then comes Whiskey Eyes, not far off the lead. Quick Step goes up on the outside. Wing and a Prayer is losing ground, and Brimstone Lady is the leader now as they run downhill. Brimstone Lady from first bout and Quick Step, then comes Try to Stop Me, Whiskey Eyes. As they run downhill, Pagan Sun is in sixth place. Brimstone Lady on the inside of first bout, then quick step, then try to stop me. As they come to the second last flight in the Daily Express Triumph Hurdle, Brimstone Lady on the inside lands just fractionally in the lead from first bout. Quick step. Then making good progress is Tereus. But it's first bout who's taken it up now. First bout in the lead as Brimstone Lady loses ground. Quick step is coming there on the stand side. Try to stop me just in behind the leaders. Tereus is still making progress. Uh, coming down now towards the final flight and it's first bout with the advantage. Mark Miller on the stand side, but first bout is going to jump it in the lead. First bout lands in the lead. Mark Miller on the stand side. No harm done over on the far side, producing a good run too. It's first bout from no harm done as they race into the closing stages. First bout and Steve Smith Eccles as they race towards the line from no harm done. John Joe and Neil, and also against the grain and at the line. First bout has won it from against the grain and no harm done. That's the one, two, three. Very close for fourth between Humberside Lady and Mark Miller and Quickstep with uh, Dancing Guy right up there too but uh, no doubt about the winner of the 1985 Daily Express Triumph Hurdle first number 11 first bout owned by Mr. F.M. Al Athol and Mr. Wharton Schober trained by Nicky Henderson and written by Steve Smith Eccles Second was number one, Against the Grain, owned by Mr. H.B. Schuler, trained by David Nicholson and written by Peter Scudamore. And third was number 25, 
No Harm Done, owned by Ulsterby Farms Limited, trained by Peter Easterby, and written by John Joe O'Neill. Very, very close indeed for fourth place, with at least uh, three horses involved in that photo for fourth. But this is the winner, Steve Smith Eccles. First triumph in the Daily Express triumph. His third winner of the National Hunt meeting, placing him two ahead in the Ritz Club Charity Trophy. Here's how he won it on this horse unbeaten over hurdles, reviewed by Richard Pittman. And as they turn for home, wing and a prayer, the favourite was back in 12th place. He was going nowhere from the top of the hill. And first bout with Steve Smith Eccles going for his third win, really making them stretch from this point. But will this be another champion hurdler for Nicky Henderson? Remember a year ago, he had See You Then in this race and finished second. That won the champion hurdle two days ago. This is a very useful horse indeed. Quite a few challenges being thrown down from in behind in the pink colours on the uh, far right. There is no harm done. Uh, John Joe O'Neill riding this one. But uh, Steve Smith Eccles had gone. He got the first run and they've got it all to do. A good jump at the last. He stood off it, gets plenty of ground. And only a mistake by him there would have given the followers any chance at all. Against the grain is still only sixth at this point, but he is making running uh, on the rails and really making ground with every stride. But no one's going to catch this winner. He's gone from a long way out. It had been a fairly good gallop with several confirmed pacemakers making sure of that. And Steve Smith uh, Eccles going for his third win so far, well, he must be delighted. Nicky Henderson had never had a festival winner before, and now he's had three. And he hasn't finished yet. Remember, he's got classified in the last race. As he goes to the line, you can see against the grain, really striding there. David Nicholson still hasn't had a festival winner either, and he's getting so close, but it has eluded him.